104.5, the team, you're home for New York sports. We are joined by the coach of the U Albany baseball team, lovingly known as Bam Bam Mueller, uh, John Bam Bam Mueller, that is. Uh, so, look, we just had this, you know, Stella come through and destroy the area. You guys are already playing baseball. How in the world are you practicing uh, on a consistent basis? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, thanks for having me, guys. You guys do an awesome job. Uh, I listen to you guys regularly. Thank you. Um, when, I, when I can. Um, but no, we, we just kind of grind it out as we can. It was kind of a funky winter. We, we got out early on the, on the turf and then we actually got on the field a few times and, uh, went to, uh, went to Longwood and took two out of three, went to coastal and played some stiff competition, got a win there and, um, you know, kind of got banged a couple games here and there. And, you know, I think the biggest thing is you, you try to continue to strengthen, use the strength and conditioning, try to continue to take fungos and fly balls and, uh, try to keep the guy's spirits up when you go outside and you come back and you're stuck back inside. It's, I think it's a battle of almost will uh, just to keep the guys up. And that's the thing about the players is that the frustration level, is it a lot of guys on your team from the Northeast and say, hey, this is what life is, we're used to this, or are other guys saying, come on, let's go, I want to play baseball? Well, I mean, over the course of the, the time I've been here, we've had guys from all over California, Florida, you know, we've had them uh, mostly Northeast guys though for predominantly and. I think the guys know it. I mean, I think they know they're going to play in the wind, they're going to play in the snow, and uh, they're going to play in the rain, and, and they're going to play when it's nice out too once in a while. But I think that it's just a mentality. You know, you have to have that lunch pail mentality that we're going to, you know, we're going to have to get in the bus. We're going to have to drive probably, uh, you know, nine or ten hours this weekend and, and meet Hofstra at, at the Red Sox affiliate in, in Virginia somewhere and, and play two games, you know, one game Saturday, two Sunday, or two Saturday, one Sunday, and get the bus and, get back to campus at midnight on Sunday. And, uh, you know, next weekend we, we had right in the UMBC in conference. And uh, that's really what, what you have to do. I think it's a, it's a preparation of uh, staying positive with the guys and keeping it fun, keeping it energetic, and not, not just BP in the cage and bullpens and BP in the cage and bullpens. And it's not fun for the coaches when you do that either. John Bam Bam Mueller with his coach of the U Albany Great Danes baseball team. So, Coach, when situations like this where it, it is, you know, annoying, where it is, you know, an uphill climb, when everything gets easy, where you you know the sun's out and you can actually play on grass and everything, is it, are situations like this what what kind of draw the team together? Well, I think so. I, I you know this week is spring break. It's not much of a spring break when you're at U Albany as a baseball player, and there's there's 12 to 18 inches of snow outside going sideways, and it's 10 degrees out. Uh, I'm, I, that's not my idea of spring break, but uh, at the same time, I think that uh, you know you, you go through these things, and uh, you know you you kind of battle through the. They're getting up early and, and working your practices around, uh, you know, the great teams we have here that, that work with us that are always winning and, and, and that sort of thing. And, and you just kind of, you kind of just keep your nose up in the air and you keep fighting. And I think that when you get outside and it's warm outside, you know, sometimes those speeches are, you guys remember when we didn't play for 12 days, do you remember what it was like hitting balls off the ground and into the net and wondering how much they carried? And, you know, do you remember how it was putting your sneakers on and throwing your bullpens? You know, let's go out and make sure we bring, bring a lot of intensity and, and, you know, have that energy level that we that we can have. And, you know, that's something I think actually carried us in the Longwood series on Sunday. And um, I think you're on that bus. I think the bus rides actually bring the guys closer together. I know it's a, it's a wear on the body, but, you know, you're watching the movies and, you know, Rookie Idol is a fan favorite of the guys. And I, I think that you do those things, and that's kind of where we, we build a lot of chemistry. Coach, four and five records so far this season, but you have had a standout performance from one of your pitchers, and that's Jack McClure. How about five no-hit innings? against NYT, he picks up the America East Player of the Week Award. What do fans here in the Capital Region need to learn about this Jack McClure? Well, Jack is a real interesting guy. He's, he's kind of, uh, you know, we, we talk about the NFL free agency. He's kind of a, you know, a high-end receiver that if he's healthy, he can go out and get you, you know, uh, 90, 90 yards and a touchdown and maybe run a reverse for, tw- for 28 yards. He's a really dynamic kid. He's 6'5", lefty. And we don't know what to expect from him because he's really never been healthy. He's healthy. He's not healthy. And uh, he got into a groove, and he was locating his fastball. I think he was 86, 89 left-handed and with a good power breaking ball behind it. So, he, you know, I, we talked to him and said, hey, if you, if you do this every week, we're going to look awfully smart and get you kind of off the waiver wire as a transfer. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, these kids are college kids, and, you know, week to week and, and year to year, sometimes you have a great freshman and sophomore year, your junior year come out and you kind of land on your face a little bit. So uh, it's it's not an easy thing. It's not a it's not a, a logarithm that's, oh, this is how it is. And, and once they get to be juniors, they're going to be ready because sometimes guys struggle for three years and they blow it up their senior year. Sometimes they go the other way. So 
Um, you know, really excited about him and a, a very have a good balance of youth and some veteran guys in the middle of the lineup that are going to help us really battle this year. Coach Bam Bam Mueller with us. So, Coach, your your athletics family right now, the, the Great Danes family, extremely successful. You know, you got uh, Will Brown going to the CIT. You got Coach Mack uh, going to the big tournament. You know, the, Scotty Marr on the lacrosse program doing great. Who are some of the guys on this baseball team who are going to make us, uh, you know, have some fun and continue the winning tradition when the baseball season gets really, really rolling? Well, I think that it's uh, there's there's so many guys. And talking about all those coaches, I mean, I don't know who didn't watch that Vermont game, but I thought Will had him by nine. I was off was off yeah. my couch with my son and my daughter barking, and <laughs> of course, uh, of course, the the women's game. I I scooted the kids down there. My daughter's a huge fan. She's obviously a huge fan of Coach Abe and UConn. And and you know, last night coming home from her, from from her AAU practice, she's talking about uh, you know. Uh, we're going to UConn this weekend. I'm like, well, your dad's playing. Isn't that important as well? Or, you know, your dad's a D1 coach. So sometimes they lose sight of that. But, uh, you know, so, you know, so, but, but anyway, it's, it's, it's an exciting thing. I mean, to bring your, to bring your children up in that environment. I mean, my, my kids have watched, you know, the coaching ability of some of these people. And Scott Mars built an animal and our women's across and volleyball or old volleyball coaches at Wisconsin doing his thing. And, you know, it's just cool when you work with these people and they treat you like you guys treat each other. Well, off the air, not on the air. But, you know, they treat each other. They treat you great. They treat you like people. And, you know, I saw Will after his tough loss. And I don't know what to say to him. What do you say to him? I mean, right. they had the guy, by, they had him down on their back, up by nine, had the game over, and they got beat. But it's it's a great place to work. Uh, it's, it's an unbelievable environment. And, uh, you know, it's just fun to be able to go to work like that every day. It makes you want to win, too. But, you know, some of those guys, Donati, uh, Kyle Sachs is a local kid. We got a bunch of kids that are that are going to contribute this year. So me listing them is not going to do do them all justice. You know, I had to do some convincing here to let you on the show because you yeah. are a Red Sox fan. And Levesque, I mean, I like you and all. Yeah, but... Levac's a Yankee fan. How do you feel about your Sox going into the season? Well, I think the Sox are in good shape. Uh, it's been an interesting year. Uh, they picked up. Uh, they picked up. There's a sale they picked up earlier. Uh, he's going to help. I mean, the pitching. You know, the pitching. I think is going to be better. Uh, the biggest question is: is offensively, you lose Poppy, you lose a generation. It's like when the Yankees, Yankees lost Jeter. You know, how do you how do you recover from that? You know, it's like, you know, you, you don't recover. You just kind of move on. And and I think that they have some young guys. Mookie Betts is a tremendous player. I mean, he's a he's fun to watch. And um, I think they're going to be in the middle of things. You know, I, I think you know it all starts and ends in the mound. You know how that goes. And right. uh, I think the Yankees have some excitement. I think that they've they've kind of went through a couple of years of. Um, I don't know, being like a Cowboys team of a few years ago, holding on to some guys that they need to get rid of, and and now they've kind of gone the other direction. So I was, I'm concerned about the Yankees because they got some some young guys I really really like. They got the guy with a bunch of power, and obviously I'd love to watch him take BP. I'm a big fan of that, but um, you know I think that it, I think it's going to be interesting. I think that you know you still have um, you still have Tampa Bay, um, you know, and what the, what the Cubs did last year. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, it's just it's just an incredible thing. Baseball is such an exciting thing when the weather breaks, and um, I, I wish more people would sit down and watch watch the games and and and, and enjoy it. But um, it's certainly great. I mean, excited about the Red Sox. Excited about the. I mean, there's nothing better when the Red Sox play the Yankees in October. Let's face it. Right. I mean, pe- people people down the least. North Way. I see a Yankee sticker. They see a Red Sox sticker, and we stare each other down for a few seconds and they keep driving. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just the way it is, and that's. I love that. I like it the next day when they win, and I got my Red Sox. I try to pull it right in front of the Yankee sticker, right in front of them. So they're like, "Look at this guy, this big guy. He's, you know, he's from Boston." And, but I didn't have much of a choice because my folks were from Boston. You know, my mom went to UMass, my dad went to Harvard. So, you know, I was that's the way it was growing up. So, unfortunately, I'm surrounded by giant Yankee fans, and I've been taking my medicine for 47 years, and I'll continue to do so. <laughs> Bam Bam Mueller, our, our our favorite Red Sox fan, which is saying something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you guys. Hey, listen, I, I don't, I'm, I'm a big on, if you're loyal to your team, I have a ton of respect for you. You know, and, and, you know, my mom's the biggest Red Sox fan I know, and she loved Jeter. She would always say, don't go home and cry about him. You know, he plays it the right way. So, I mean, fans are fans. If you're loyal, I love you. You know, the guys that jump ship all the time, you know, we got to, they got to figure it out. But, um, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it's exciting. It's nice to have the talk. You know, I think these, you know, obviously people go overboard with it, but, it is the, the greatest thing. It's it's like, you know, when the NFC East is good and everybody's trying to beat each other, um, that's when it's at its best. And I think it's kind of going back that way. I think the Giants made a nice move in getting that receiver. And they're kind of built to make some noise this year, too. 
Absolutely. Coach Mueller, we, uh, we appreciate you. We, we love what you're doing with the UAlbany baseball program. And uh, if there's, if we, we can never uh, just chat baseball. If there's ever some green grass out there again, we'd love to just have you on again. No doubt about it, fellas. Keep up, uh, keep up the love for Albany. Uh, go Danes.